In this video, I'll be showing you how to verify the integrity of Bitcoin software that you download using Sparrow Wallet. The process is nearly identical across all the software, but in this video, I'll show you three different examples. Firstly, Sparrow Wallet itself, then Cold Card, then Seed Signer. Here I am on my desktop and I'm going to open Sparrow Wallet. Sparrow Wallet is now open and if I click on Sparrow at the top left of my screen, then click About Sparrow, I can see I am running version 1.8.3. You need at least Sparrow 1.8.3 to use this verification tool. So I have that, I'm gonna close this. And at the bottom right of my screen, I can see Sparrow 1.8.4 is available. So I'm going to click on that. Here I am on Sparrow Wallet's download page, and you just wanna make sure you're on sparrowwallet.com, which I am. Now what I wanna do is download Sparrow for whatever operating system I'm on. So I'm on Apple with an M1 chip, so I click on this. Next, I need to download two other files. Firstly, this manifest signature and the manifest file. So I click on this, and then I go ahead and click on this one as well. Now my computer has automatically opened this up. I'm just going to close that. And I now have all three files downloaded and ready to go. Now, if I head over to my finder and click on downloads, here I can see the three files I have just downloaded. To make my life a bit easier, I'm going to create a new folder and call it Sparrow, and then just move these files over to this Sparrow folder. Now that we have everything downloaded, we can go over to Sparrow Wallet itself and start the verification process. What we need to do is go over to tools at the top left of our screen, then click on verify download. Next, we need to select the files we have just downloaded. So first is the signature file that ends in .txt.asc. So I click browse, then I click on my downloads, I click on Sparrow, and I look for that file which I see here, .txt.asc. So I open that up. Sparrow would like to access files in your downloads folder. I will allow this. And there we go, Sparrow has automatically picked up the rest of these uh, files. As we can see here, the manifest file ends in .txt and the release file ends in arch64.dmg. So because I told Sparrow where the first file is, it automatically picked up the rest of those. And here we can see it has verified this download. So firstly, we can see the software has been signed by Craig Raw with the correct email address. Secondly, the release hash is matching the manifest hash. And finally, we can see the software has been verified and we are ready to install this software. All I need to do now is close Sparrow Wallet and then go to my finder, to my downloads, to Sparrow, and then I can now run the latest version of Sparrow. I double click on that, drag Sparrow to my applications and click on replace. Now I just need to fill in my password and there we go, I should be running the latest version of Sparrow. What I can do now is just get rid of all these files. I no longer need them and I can eject Sparrow from my desktop. And then if I click on Sparrow and click open, and then I head over to Sparrow at the top left of my screen and about Sparrow, I'm running 1.8.4. Next up, I'll show you how to verify your cold card firmware. So first I'm going to open Firefox and go over to cold card docs. I click on this link at the top and I really want to make sure that I am on coldcard.com forward slash docs. Now I click over here, how to upgrade firmware. What I need to do now is download the firmware for whichever cold card product I have. So for example, if I'm using the Mark 4, I click on this link and that will download to my computer. Now that we've downloaded the firmware itself, we need two more files that will help us verify this firmware. So in the table of contents here, I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click here, don't trust verify the firmware. Now what I'm going to do is over here where it says confirm the hash and open signatures.txt, I'm going to double click on signatures.txt and then say save link as. Now I leave it as is, the name, I leave that as is, and then I save this to my downloads and I click on save. Next we need the public key. So underneath verify the PGP signature, we can see the public key is over here. So again, I double click 
or right click if you're on a mouse and then I click on save link as and then I leave this as normal, I save it to my downloads and I click on save. Cool, now in my finder and in my downloads, here are the three files we've just downloaded. Again, to make my life easier, I'm going to create a new folder called cold card. And then I'm going to drag these three files into my cold card folder. Now we need to open Sparrow to use its verification tool. So here Sparrow Wallet is ready to go. I click on tools, then I click on verify download. And now I need to add these files I've just downloaded to Sparrow. Firstly, the signature file, which ends in txt.asc or sig or .gpg. So I click on browse then I go to my downloads folder. I go to the cold card folder and we are looking for this here, the .asc. I click on that and click on open. Now we need the manifest file, which ends in .txt. So I click on browse, downloads, cold card, and then the .txt file, and then I click on open. And there we go, Sparrow has automatically picked up the release file in that same folder. And here we can see the software is verified. We have a valid signature from Peter D. Gray, who is a developer at CoinKite. Then the release hash has matched the manifest hash, and finally, the firmware itself was verified and we're ready to install. So now at this point, you would move this firmware onto an SD card and move that to the cold card, which I have a video on how to do. All right, next up, I'll show you how to verify that seed signer is authentic. So again, we open any browser and we go to seedsigner.com. Please make sure you are on seedsigner.com. Next, I'm going to click on download the latest release and it's going to open this GitHub page. Now what we need to do is scroll down until we see the actual files we can download, which are over here under assets. The first thing we need to download is seed signer for whichever Raspberry Pi we are using. In my case, I have a Raspberry Pi Zero over here, Pi Zero, so I click on pi0.img, and that's going to save to my computer. Next, I need to download the .txt file at the top, and finally, this .txt.sig file. So I click on that as well. Now all three files have been downloaded. So if I open my finder and click on downloads, here are those three files. To make my life easier, I'm going to click new folder and then go seed signer and put all of these files in that seed signer folder. Next, I'm going to close this page up because we've downloaded everything we need and I'm going to open Sparrow Wallet. Now in Sparrow, I need to open the verification tool. So I click on tools at the top left of my screen. Then I click on verify download. Now again, I need to select the files I have just downloaded. Firstly, I need to do the signature file that ends in either .asc, .sig or .gpg. So I click on browse. I look in my downloads folder and I click on seed signer. Now I see the .sig file is over here. So I click on that and click on open. And there we go, Sparrow has automatically picked up all of those files because they're sitting in the same folder. And here we can see we have a valid signature from seed signer with the email address btc.hardware.solutions at gmail.com. Then the release hash has matched the manifest hash and the firmware or software is verified and ready to install. And there we go, that is how to verify Bitcoin downloads using this new tool within Sparrow Wallet.